Left hook. Why is this technique the most brutal one to right-handed fighters? Because they stand like this. If he drop his, drops his hand, it's your natural hand. You see? It goes straight here. Wherever you hit the, he can easily hit the canvas. If you hit here, 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 most of the left-handed, uh, sorry, most of the right-handed fighters do not hold their right hand up. They aren't got used to left-handed fighters. It's now time to use their weakness against them. Let's show you. We're standing here. Tuck this hand. Tuck it here. Don't move. Also, you see? Know this? Know this. One line. Elbow is in one line. What you should do, you see? Hips. This is what you should do. Rotate to the clockwise. Right leg, no need to rotate. Left. Yeah, you should do some rotation with your left. Also mid-range technique. One more thing. When to throw it. If you just throw it like this, it's very visible. No, like a street bully throwing this. No. Set the situation up. See? You're here. Throw, set, set, set. Why is this technique brutal? Because the opponent never knows what never knows what happens at the moment. He thinks you'll probably push him, put the cross or whatever. But for street, this is the most often one. Left hand, no. Just go like this. Set set up the situation. Move around. It is not a defensive technique, just set up. Set up, go, 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 go. And when you finish, return here. Return here. Return here. You just like this. See? This is why this technique is devastating. If you're a southpaw fighter, make sure you throw it from time to time, not too often.